Hello and welcome to Bar. This is a mixture of ballet, Pilates and other fitness elements. And it's going to work best today if you are in socks or in bare feet, so you can really work the feet into the floor. And today we will be using whatever we have for a bar. So I've got a chair, it's slightly low, ideally something around hip height, waist height, um, like the edge of a table or the mantelpiece, you can even use the wall, absolutely fine. Um, uh, alongside that we will have a stretchy band, that's just optional, well all the props are optional, um, but that's just for a little bit of added resistance around the legs in an exercise that involves squats, so if you've got one of those loopy bands that will work just as well. And today we will be using two small hand weights, they don't have to be official hand weights, they can just be tins from the kitchen cupboard. Um, anything you've got, two objects of equal weight. And that's all we need for today. We will be starting away from our bar in our space for a little bit of a warm up where you can just follow along with me. Let's give this a go. So we're going to be taking ourselves into our space, planting the feet down into the floor. And we're going to reach the arms up for the sky and really just take a slow melt down. We're just pouring the weight forwards, allow the arms to release, allow the back to release. It's kind of just a hang, a sort of wiggly hang. Have a little thing around here. We could walk the feet out a little wider and make it a little bit sort of swingy. It's very meandering. And it starts to unroll as we swing. And maybe it gets a little bit more dynamic as we come up to standing upright and it becomes a little rotation through the body and we can reach that arm around swiping across opening through the chest that arm can start to come higher we'll swipe across in a high diagonal as much as you've got space for wherever you are we'll take it into a side bend so it comes all the way up and over into the side of the body and then we will take it down again back to nice and low little rotation we're going to change it up now a little bit more structured with a reach for the sky it's going to reach upwards and we're taking a definite pad through the foot now fully peeling away and replacing take that to the side so you're just reaching away from you into space, deepening the breathing. Take it to the front, we'll reach around, it becomes a bit of a rotation again, and we'll swipe forward. Still keeping that pad through the feet, take it down to the floor, a sort of diagonally side bend, that can be with two bent knees, that's fine. And then again, let's just drop it down. Actually, let's come back to a parallel to drop it down into the floor, have a little hang again. Let's plant one hand in front of the same foot, do a little swim up and over and round. Same thing on the other side, a little swim up and over and round. One more either way, reaching back and up and over, circling through the arm, through the shoulder. We're going to unroll through the spine, planting the heels down into the floor. Take your time, slowly coming up again. Let's take some squeezes through the shoulders. Up and down. Lifting up. Or we'll just take a little look side to side through the head. And that can be on the music, or if it's too fast, a little slower off the music again. And then we will take ourselves to our bar. Or take your bar to you, depending on what you are using coming into your bar, we'll come into a second position. You might need a little bit of a rotation, a little bit of a swivel that's on the balls of the foot, a little swivel there, just to warm up into that place where the glutes are engaging, the muscles in the pelvis are engaging to find that rotation through the leg. We're going to come into our second, and we want to think heels maybe just slightly wider than hip distance apart, and the legs are in that rotated place, so the knee is going to drive out over the centre of the foot as we take that plie. So just take a few of this pace to start, nice and slow. So we're just thinking about that tracking foot, uh, sorry, knee over foot every time. So we're going to take two at that speed, down for two, three, four, and up for two. Three, four, and slowly down, slowly up. We'll go four at half the pace, and up. It's down, and up. It's just three. We've got four in total. We're going to take eight little bounces, eight little pulses. 
is down. So we're keeping that plie, we're just slightly moving in and out of it as we go. That's eight of those. We're gonna hold it there. We're gonna reach one arm for the sky. We're gonna reach the other arm for the sky. We're gonna bring the first arm back. We'll bring the second arm back. And we'll slowly lengthen and do it again. We've got four, three, two, one, and three, two. There's two more of those. There's four that go down in two, up in two. And down for two, and up for two. These are probably the nicest ones. Nice and functional in terms of speed. Then we've got these little pulses. These aren't too bad, but we start to feel the work in the legs. Deepen the breathing, think TVA muscle wrapping around the waist, particularly as you take a hold. Take a little reach, take a little reach, let's open the arms around the side this time to come back, replace the hands, lengthen the legs. Let's go one more time. Smoothly down for four, and up. And all the time we're thinking of that little lift between the sit bones, that pelvic floor engagement, gently lifting internally, or a little faster. Nice and wide and proud across the collarbones, through the shoulders, shoulder blades just suctioning onto the back of the ribs. Taking that little pulse, making sure the pelvis is just dropping straight down in space. We're going to hold it down. Last time, we're going to hold. Let's take the arms around the outside. And let's gently melt them down to the bar to lengthen back up. Let's take a lengthen in the other direction. So we're lifting through the heels. If it feels a little too much, gently lower again. Come down maybe half the height. Or if it feels okay, fully lengthening up through the legs, through the knees, drawing the thighs up, drawing the kneecaps up. Maybe take a little test of your balance. And replace the hands. And replace the heels. Walk the uh, feet, these be feet. Walk the feet back in. Take a little pad, just in a parallel position. Loosening off. We're going to come back into that first position. We'll take a little hip rotation, so a little more focus here into the hip as we take the knee in and out. We're going to do four of these on one side and four on the other. So rotating in, rotating out. And the toe is just staying on the floor. We'll take it again, but we'll go with a little drag of the foot. So it's just slightly drawing a line in the sand across the floor. Again, four on side, change sides, it's four. I used to long on two sides of the body, lifted through the top of the head. We're going to take the same thing with a little plie on that supporting leg, a little fondue, a little bend of the knee over the foot, just on one side. Change sides, bend the knee, reach away. We're going to add in a full extension of the leg, so it comes across all the way out to the tips of the toes, long leg. One more time, change sides, in to out. And we're thinking about the belly button just staying facing towards the bar. We'll take some tongues. Eight, seven. We're just sliding the foot in towards the other one. Closing inside thighs and calves. Change sides on eight and seven. And we're brushing the underside of the foot along the floor every time. Repeat that. So you've got eight on the first leg, eight on the second leg. And if you wanted a little more challenge, you can just take the hands away from the bar. You can take the first position. Just to test the balance a little bit, we're going to come back to the first side. We're going to take one tongue away. We'll reach the arm up. We'll circle around. Replace the arm, replace the foot, change sides. Open away. So it's a little curve through the spine. Replace the hand, change sides. Repeat again. Reaching upwards. Tiniest of side bends to curve in the top of the body only. Replace the hand, replace the foot. Take it up, 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 up. Out, 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 out. Round, 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 round. Come back. Come back into a parallel. Bend through the knees, drop through the heels. This first one, think of this as a plie. So we're just keeping the spine upright. Just sinking down into the heels. Stretching out down the back of the leg. Lengthen up. This one's more of a squat action. So now we are pitching slightly forward through the body. Think of the angle of your spine matching the angle of your shin. And we can find that little sinking through the sit bones. Thighs coming lower and then reaching away. Take a nice big open through the chest. We're going to be moving into a little bit more work through our body. 
Uh, we're going to be taking this from the total bar repertoire from the um, warm-up exercise, but I've modified it so it's more of a body movement exercise. Uh, we take two reps of everything. Everything being the first movement is a reach across on a diagonal and a pull through the elbow. The second movement is the same thing, but opening all the way out to the fingers. The third movement curves over in the spine on that same diagonal and then takes a little rotated upper back extension. And the fourth movement is a side bend and away. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, two of each. So it's something like this. Pull through the elbow and again. Come along with me to reach through the hand, through the fingertips. And it has this kind of oozy, elastic quality to it. Curving up, lifting through the chest. That comes around to the side bend and up and over. Side bend, take it all the way around to reach across. Pull with the elbow. Again, pull with the elbow. Full hand. Fingertips reaching away. Try and take the gaze straight outwards into the garden. Up and over. Lifting the chest. Rather than a back bend, it's a reach upwards. A side bend, opening that side of the ribcage. Let's take the whole thing and again. It's across and elbow. This one comes into the full extension through the arm. One more time with that before we curve. And you can add in plies wherever it feels appropriate to you. A little plie for the side bend is always nice. Side, take it all the way around to reach across. Elbow. One more elbow. With the fingers. Reaching away. Think oozy, think elastic. Curve it over and up. Just about reaches where it wants to go before it changes its mind and goes somewhere else instead. And up around. Release. Lengthening out. Let's take the bar away or take yourself away from your bar. Uh, we are going to be picking up the hand weights. We'll do an exercise, we'll just come from standing. We're going to do two arm exercises today, again from the total bar repertoire. I have modified them slightly. Um, so one is the arms front, and the other one is the arms back. Nice and simple. Um, arms front, we have a series of movements. The movements are, first of all, a bicep curl. So it's going to curl in with the palms facing towards you. Then it's going to move into a hammer curl. So it's curling in with the palms facing each other. That shifts higher. And we do that at shoulder height, thinking about keeping the upper arm nice and steady. And then we rotate the palms once again, same thing. So that's the first four movements. The next four movements, first one is opening out to the sides. And when I say the sides, I mean your own sides of your kinosphere, your uh, circle of movement of awareness. Um, and so not taking it so far that you can't see your hands. You have to be able to see them just out of the corners of your eyes. Uh, so that's opening out. Uh, next movement is closing up, reaching upwards. If my arms have gone off the screen at that point, it's closing into a little fifth position, hug the moon. Um, there's no kneeling uh, when you're standing. And then the last one is, again, triceps. So we are thinking reaching upwards. We want the crease of the elbow facing back behind us so that we can drop the hands down and up in parallel. Woo! Okay, it's good work even without the weights. So we're going to do four slow of everything and eight faster. That's just an option. You could keep it all at the same tempo. You could move just with your breath and not with the music. Go, go, with, go, go with what is best for you. <laughs> just shorten that whole sentence down. Right, let's do this. Okay, grab your hand weights. So it starts with that bicep curl first of all, planting the feet into the floor, around hip distance apart, nice and strong base. Wide through the collarbone, suction, suction the shoulder blades on the back. We've got slow to start and reach away. Slow movement. Just four of these. And kind of plugging it into the muscle memory so that when it gets a little faster, it's familiar to go in to out. In to out. Trying to minimize any sway through the body. Keep using your breath. Think breathing into the side and back of the ribs. We're going to rotate the palms, slow it down. 
but this music has odd phrasing. We'll call that as one. This is two. Reach your way. This is three. Nice and smooth. So it's the same action, but the rotation of the forearm makes it a little muscularly different. And you've got eight faster. Try not to let the shoulders pinch up or sink down. They are just somewhere resting happy in the middle. We're going to be taking the same action, but a little higher. Take it away. Shoulder height is going to curve in, nice and slow, and away, nice and slow. Try not to lock into the knees. Have a little softness in the knee. And try not to sway forwards and back. So there's a lot of core work going on as well to keep you in place. Faster. And if it's too fast, you can always slow it down. Just moving tight with your breath or move at that slower pace and just go for four more. Rotate the palms in for four and out for four. Are you still lengthened in the back of the spine? Lifted in the tops of the ears? It's gonna have one of those all little breaks here. Let's just hold. Six, seven, go. In and out. In and out. You've got eight of these in total. You've got four to go. Now it's only three. And then we're going to be opening arms out to the side. They're going to open away to calm back. Oh, that's the one, isn't it? Feeling that. And again, reaching away. Coming back in. Now these don't have to be as wide when they are faster. They can be little pulses out and out as long as they are still in your field of vision. You've got four more, here we go. Four, three, we're gonna hold it out, we're gonna come in for slow, and open away. In for slow. Now keeping your elbows pulling out to the sides of the room. Try and keep the upper arm lifted. Here we go, a little faster. We've got in and out, in and out. Try not to lock into the elbow. Always have a little softness there. <sighs> Nearly there. Two to go. We're going to take it up into that hug the moon shape. Awkward pause of the music. Open away. Reach it up. And away. Go on, we're going to keep going. Don't know if the next track will fit, but we will make it fit. And reaching up. And again, we're going to have this little open and out. Open and out, kind of, I'm going to go with it, it works. You've got four more, they don't have to be full range, it can be more of a sort of upwards V shape. As we reach it up, we're going to stay up on this last one, rotate so it's nice and slow to come down. Oh, that's very slow, isn't it? Really tracking that parallel, checking with the back surface of the body, make sure that you are not collapsing into the lower back. Keep lifting the rib cage out of the pelvis. It is our last eight. Eight. And up. It's seven. Long spine, including back of the neck. Shoulders will be slightly raised, but they shouldn't be pinching up towards your ears. Try and keep the elbows lifted for your last two. And your last one. Reach it up when we sit down. Take the weights all the way to the floor. Reach away and up. Pressure away, fresh. I couldn't decide if I was saying press or pressure. So it's somewhere in between. Have a little hang, a little waft. We're gonna come into an exercise that still involves arms, but no weights. So you can pop the weights to one side for a moment, ready for when we go into our arms back a little later. This is where if you want to be using your band, it is the moment, and it will go around the legs. So no additional props needed for this one just the band around the legs, just for a little bit of added resistance, so that when you are stepping out, there's a little bit of outside fine work to keep the band in place. Um, I'll take that back. Um, get rid of any tail ends so you're not gonna trip over them. And let's find ourselves with the feet just to the outside of the hips. We can take the hands just in front, uh, in front of the breastbone, and we'll take a little squat action. So it's just gonna drive down and up and down and up. It goes as low as is appropriate to your body. But we're thinking about sit bones coming almost to the level of the knee, and we're slightly higher. Let's go four more. We've got four. 
on three. Keep pressing out into the sides of the mat. Last one. We're gonna take the arms up. We're gonna pull down, reach high, pull down, reach high. We'll do eight of these in total. You've got four more to go. So there's nothing in the hands. They're just pulling on the air, using your resistance. Take it back. Let's go for a little walk. So we're staying in our squat position, preferably as low as it was when it was just straight down and up. And we're thinking about the pressure out into the band. Try not to let the band press your knees in. Keep pushing out once more each way. And then come back to the center. Take yourself up again. We're gonna reach it forward. We're gonna pull back and reach. A little invisible horizontal row. Make sure it doesn't pinch too much on the shoulder blade. Still think wide across the front and back surface of the body. Two to go. Last one. We're going to come down again. We're going to shift the weight onto one foot. And we've got little taps. Tap, tap. So I'm thinking about tapping the air. I'm really thinking about tapping upwards. Trying to keep that leg parallel. Last four. And three. And two. And one. Transfer to the other side. Here we go again. You've got tap. for 16 of these in total. I think we've got eight more. <laughs> Last four, here we go. Four, three, two. That's the one, isn't it? Whoa, come back to the center, reaching away. We're gonna come back up to here, little cactus place. Rather than reaching up, we're gonna squeeze in to open, in to open. Moving out through the breathing, you've got four to go. Checking in with rib cage lifting out of pelvis, along the back surface of the body, wide through the collarbones. Last one, reach away. Just take an oozy wiggly shoulder upper body motion. Have a little stretch out for yourself in whatever feels like a good, appropriate way. We are going to be picking up those hand weights again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You'll be relieved to know it's just one speed for this one. No slow and fast options, just one speed. You can always adjust that one speed to whatever you need it to be for yourself, whether it needs to be faster or slower. Um, but otherwise, just coming along with me. So actually, let's talk it through again. So actions for this next one. Uh, we're going to start with a tricep uncurl and in order to get that we will be in a squat position so we're going to uncurl through the arms and come back in. Think of it like a hammer position with the palms facing in towards each other. And then we're going to hold it there and we're going to rotate in the upper arm so the palms are going to turn in and out. And then we're going to hold it there again but we're going to open and close. So we're going to be thinking about squatting continuously as we go. And and then we're going to have a horizontal row with that same action. So that same horizontal row we just did, but with continuous squats, moving through a set of those. Uh, moving into a held squat once again, a little rotation through the, which is really through the upper arm. You can think of the elbow curling around and under. And if you're looking at the angle of the hand and the wrist, that change, I'm sorry, it doesn't change. So it stays the same, it just rotates. I'm not doing anything extra with the hand and the wrist. So if I was upright, you would just see this motion here, elbow closing in, rotating from the top of the joint. Series of those. Uh, where did we get to? Oh yeah, and then fly and close. And so that is a continuous squat again. And we'll let you know as we go along whether we are continually squatting or if we're holding a squat. The first two are in a held squat, if that helps. And the first two are the hammer, uncurl, and, and the rotation through the arms. So let's pick up these hand weights. At any time, you can change your mind and put the hand weights down. It's absolutely fine. So we're coming back into that same squat position that we had. We are unfolding and in. I think we're going to do eight of each thing. Nice and simple, nice and even. Four to go. Now think TVA wrapping in. Belly button gently hugging back towards the spine. We're going to keep the arms back 
after this one and we're going to find a little rotation in the palm facing front facing back Let's try and keep the spine long that's halfway through those you've got four to go try and get your squat a little lower because we're going to be shifting into continuous squats on the next one as we try set on the curl again i had to check there and uncurl and recurl. Continuous squats for this one. Continuous squats for the next one, which is going to be the horizontal row. You've got three more of these to go. Make sure there's a little softness in the elbows when you're extended. We're going to take the arms forward. Horizontal row. Reach away. Continually squatting still. In fairness, we could have done this with the band still. I didn't think of it at the time, but we really could have done it, but it's okay. You've got two more. The last two. This one's going to stay down, so we've got that rotation. Rotation in the upper arm. Now think about the spine. Think about the TVA, the walls of abdominal muscle wrapping around. You've got four to go. And then we have one more exercise, which is gonna pass on to the next piece of music, which is our peck flies. We're gonna reach away, rotate, squat with the fly. Yes, we have already done this one in the arms front, but here it is with a squatting action. That doesn't work at all musically. Four, here we go, last three, nearly there. Two, last one, reach away. Come back, release the arms. Take the weights down, take them on the roll. Reach it up for the sky. Ooze you down. Come all the way down into the floor. Place the hands, place the knees. We'll take a little supportive cat stretch. So we're gonna curve the back up to the ceiling. And then lengthen away, opening through the chest. Curve again. One more. Take a moment to sit back onto the heels. Allow the arms to release. Have a little bit of a wiggle around there. We're going to stay seated when we're taken into a core exercise from a seated position. We don't need hand weights, you'll be glad to find out. Coming around. We're going to take an exercise called the saw. This comes from the Pilates repertoire. You can take the saw, as is the traditional method, with the legs extended and the feet flexed. It gives you tension in the lower back, it does for me. You could try bending the knees, that still gives you tension in the lower back. You could come to a comfortable cross-legged position, whichever works for you. Finding stacking of, we're going to need a little bit of space here, stacking of the nose over the stem, over the pubic bone. And we're going to take the arms up and onto the head to start. So thinking about the track of the spine for this one, we're going to inhale and rotate. We're going to exhale and roll down in the top of the body, only as far as to keep the pelvis nice and still. We're going to inhale and unroll once again. And exhale to undo the rotation. Same thing the other way. Breathing in to rotate. Breathing out to curve over. Inhale to unroll. Now you're just moving at the pace of your breathing for this. Once more like that to inside, rotating, curving up and over and down, undoing that, coming back around again, one last time, the same. So pin this into your mind, this idea of rotation and curl, undo the curl, undo the rotation, release the arms, there are arms involved. The arms take their own little track, whereby if I'm turning over to my right, my left arm is going to close in front and the right arm will close behind. So they will come in line with the shoulder socket. Um, they don't make a diagonal. They are right in front of you. The one closing in front, the thumb is up. If I rotate slightly, you'll see the one closing behind, the thumb is down towards the floor. So there is rotation, medial rotation in that back arm. Uh, we'll do two of those to either side as well. So taking the arms out to the side, we're going to inhale to rotate. 
and then because I've turned to the right, my right arm closes behind, my left arm reaches in front, really reach way on two sides, unroll, take the arms back around to the sides of you, bring it back around to the front, same thing the other way, rotating, back arm, rotated thumb down, front arm keeps thumb up, undo that rotation, if you've got peripheral arms, you might need more space, <laughs> One more time to either side. Lifting up and over to curve. Really think about that stretch out through the arms, through the shoulders. Encountering the contraction through the front surface of the body, the lengthening in the back surface of the body. Up and over. Last one. And reaching away. Exhale to return to the front. Release the arms. Just take a gentle squeeze of the uh, I was going to say elbows, but these are shoulders. Shoulders towards the ears. And again. Let's go two more. It's like you're wringing out a sponge. And squeeze, release. Come back to a central middle ground, wide across the collarbones. Take a little gentle look over one shoulder. And back. Gentle look over the other shoulder. And back. One more either way. And release. One more time. Rotate. Take a big breath in and reach for the sky. And then opening away, stretch your fingers as we come down. And we are done there for today. Thank you.